Is there a service? Yeah, I heard that before too. I've heard that several times. Yeah. We'll start with the morning prayer in scripture. Isaiah 54, verse 17. Old Testament. Isaiah 54, verse 17.
Amen. 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 Let's bow our hands and begin to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we humble ourselves before your throne. First and foremost, we give honor to you, God, for being God, and most of all, for allowing us to see a brand new day. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your kindness and your compassion. We thank you for your love that's already been wrapped around us. We thank you for your hope in the Holy Ghost. And Lord God, we thank you for those that are here this morning. We bless those that are on their way. Lord God, we thank you for the God. Sometimes we struggle coming to service, but yet you give us the strength. And we thank you for the strength of God. We thank you for those that you're healing their bodies from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, whether it be bronchitis, whether it be arthritis, whether it be arthritis in the feet or the legs. Father, we already know that you are wounded for their transgressions. Groups for their iniquities and the chastisement of your peace is upon us. And with your stripes, they are totally healed. And look upon that family that put away their son and daughter on yesterday. Uh, there's one that's still living. We ask that you extend their lives. And even those babies that have died, newborns, stillborns. Look upon the mothers that have lost children. And even over the city of Buffalo that wrestles with the spirit of depression. Father, that you'll uplift that load and bring about a full deliverance. Lord God, the principalities and the rulers of darkness that tries to fight against us, even what we consider the Prince of Persia. Father, keep your hand of mercy upon your people right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, keep us in your secret place. Help us to stay hidden in your word, hidden in the realm of the spirit. Keep us, guide us, and direct us. And Lord God, if we've done anything wrong that was displeasing or distasteful, Father, we ask that you forgive us of all of our sins sins of commission and sin of omission. God, that you keep us in, in your word. Lord God, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God, we thank you for the hidden truth of the word and the word of God. Let us apply this word into our heart, Lord God. The word that I have hid in my heart so I may not sin against thee. Let us not sin against you, Lord God. Who shall descend upon this holy hill? A man with clean hands and a pure heart. Help us to stay clean in your presence. When we wake up, let us stay clean. When we lay down, let us stay clean. Throughout the day, God, let us stay clean. Help us to live the word, not just quote it, but live it. And we're not here to condemn, we're not to throw stones. We all have faults, we all have failures, we all have a flaws, but yet we're still working on us. And God, we thank you for sparing us and bringing us into a new year, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this January 6, 2019. Another new day, another new Sunday, and able to come together in unison. And we thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.